so my mum's just got home from work. It's like three o'clock and she's just told me that we're going to go and see this puppy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's something that we both really want. Aww. Aww. So this is a video that I hadn't planned to film, but I'm so excited that I'm getting to film it. I honestly never thought I'd get to film a video like this, but it's happening and I am so happy. So my mum comes into my room and she goes, Saf, today we're going to go and look at a dog. And I was so excited. Okay, guys, so my mum's just got home from work. It's like three o'clock and she's just told me that we're going to go and see this puppy. It's a little Jack Russell. It's like 18 months old and basically it's my granny's friend. She's called Sylvia and so is my granny, so that's crazy. Um, and basically she just doesn't want her anymore so literally all of my life I have wanted a dog if you know me you know how in love with them I am we were walking on the beach and I was like mum I really still want a dog and she kept like bringing it up and having conversations with me and I just didn't click on because we have been doing that for like the last 16 years it would be like convenient because it would be ready for me on my birthday and then I could have a dog for my birthday and I was so excited so then I'm like yeah and I get ready it's urban outfit is like I don't know if you can see that like sparkly top and um, these nasty girl joggers and this like burgundy it looks really bad on camera though timberland jumper because we're gonna be sitting outside and, and i look like i'm like i like i'm in a hospital outfit but we move let's go and me and my mum go straight to the car and we start driving Tell you what, it's really <laughs> and um, we go to Actually, I'm not going to reveal where my granny lives. That's kind of weird. So we go to go see my granny. This is so weird because I feel like for the longest time, like all my life, I've been desperate for a dog. And now that it's like happening, um, I'm so scared. Like, I'm just scared. We're just going to wait for my granny to come out. I'm going to go see Poppy. And basically, we're going to walk and we go to see this dog. Oh. En route to see the doggo. With mum, granny and her doggo. Are you nervous? No, I'm excited. Excited. She's seen it. Excited. And it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so cute. So we decide to take it for a walk and we go along all of these back lanes and stuff. Oh, you're so fluffy, you're fluffy little baby. You're pulling so much, my arm's gonna fall off, aren't you, little Holly? That's just something you see, they're trained to hunt. She can smell. Oh. She can smell a mouse or something, can't she? If she's not allowed a mouse. But that's why that's why you can't let her off, you know, like if you're in the countryside. Yeah. 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 No, put the... Every time she goes out, don't take her away. She don't want to fight something in there. <gasps> no, Holly. And it's so funny actually because Holly, Holly started like looking in like mouse holes and stuff, and I was just like imagining myself going for walks with her. We even did like little runs along the road to see if I could go like on a run with the dog. <laughs> because that's always something that I've wanted to have. Is this Safia out with Holly? Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, good girl. <laughs> Isn't she cute? She is really cute. She's a sweet little thing, isn't she? Is she here? Um, and I was just like really grateful that I was getting the opportunity and I was getting really excited. She did pull a lot on the lead though. You're pulling so much, my arm's gonna fall off. And obviously, if my mum ever walks the dog, I don't want her to like have any problems with not being able to walk the dog because it's pulling and I want it to be able to like be relaxing when we go for a walk, things like that. So that was a little bit inconvenient. We decided that as it was getting a little bit rainy, it would be smart to come and take her inside and like see how she is inside the home and with my granny's dog as well. Um, Lucy, my granny's dog, didn't actually like her too much, which is a little bit upsetting because we do have Lucy around quite a bit. We brought her into the house. Hello. One of them. She's not interested, is she? No. Come on. Come on. She the tail's wagging. Rug up, yeah. Roll her over and give her a tummy a tickle. You know, your tummy tickled. Your tummy tickled. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> oh. 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 Look, she's kissing Hello. you. Oh, oh. look at that. Oh, she does oh, have an underbite, doesn't she? And she was really lovely and everything. <laughs> Come on, Holly. Come on. Come on. But it just didn't click. Hello. 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 H
Hello, Ollie. Ollie. Come on then, Ollie. Come on. Come on. She's not having it. Um, she was running around and we even tried hiding the balls and stuff so that we could see if she'd give us more attention in a more relaxed situation. And I do understand that she was in like a place where obviously she'd never been before and she wanted to explore, things like that. But she just didn't have as much personality as I had hoped. Um, she wasn't very interested in just cuddling up with either me or my mum. And that's something that we both really want. Just like when we sit down on a night and watch TV, we like, like every other dog in our family, we sit down and we have them on our knee and we relax. And it's just like part of the family but um holly just wasn't quite doing that no holly holly was actually bought as a christmas gift for my granny's friend and um, that's why she was called holly and um, i didn't actually like the name holly but obviously we could have changed that because she was only two years old and she wasn't responding to her name anyway she wasn't trained like at all um she was a really lovely dog but we don't think that she's the one for us and it was really sad that like we'd met it and like but at least we hadn't given it false hope because this old woman apparently gets people to walk her dog for her all the time but yeah but we sat down and we talked through the pros and cons and i asked my mum them and i asked my granny them she's pros and cons, cons. <laughs> what are your pros she's much prettier than i anticipated mm -hmm. she's friendly with other dogs she's clearly friendly with people so i thought she i thought she was a character all she wanted to do was play here the minute no, we got on the floor it. she's not having it but she didn't want to sit on your knee and cuddle. No. But that's what she was saying she does with her. So that yeah. would suggest to me she would. The what downside, and it's really the only downside to me, is that she mentioned that she barks if people go past or yes. strange dogs. And she can't go in the car. Otherwise she'd be sick. Right. And if you feed her before she goes in the car, she's sick when we go in the car everywhere. No, I think that's... Well, Harley was like that when Lynn got hit. It's because she's not used to going in the so car. She probably never goes in the car. Yeah. The issue would be whether she barks at our house that would be the negative um, and does she bark at all occasionally yeah mm -hmm. she'll bark if she sees a strange dog mm -hmm. coming past right um or if there's anybody coming past that she doesn't know she'll right. bark right but she's not a yapper yes no, until she wants to go out and then she won't stop until she gets out <laughs> because everything else i thought was positive mm. what would you say the pros and cons were i'm going to granny next for the pros and cons granny um, granny what are your pros what are your cons Pros and cons. She's lovely. Everything about her was lovely. It's just, I, 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 deep down, I know what Safi is wanting. <laughs> That's the answer. You're wanting a baby. Name it yourself. Choose it yourself. Rather than somebody else's baby. Mm -hmm. But I think, as a, dare I say, a second-hand doggy, I don't think you could get a nicer one. I think if you went to an animal rescue centre. Bosco was a nice one. You wouldn't get Bosco's an idiot. You mustn't, you mustn't really judge them by the looks. No, no you know, it's, it's I don't sad. mean Bosco's cuter, I mean Bosco's energy. He's energy. He's energy. <laughs> energy. And then I thought of my own pros and cons and like thinking about it, I had more cons than pros because the pros were is that like I was getting a dog and it was lovely and I would be like rehoming the dog and all of that kind of thing. But then the cons were is that we didn't connect. So there's no point in having a dog that you don't have connection with and that you don't feel like you could spend like all of your time with. Because obviously if I have a dog, I want to spend all of my time with them and give them like my full love and attention. And that wasn't like what I was looking for. And especially like if I've wanted a dog all of my life, I may as well get it right. Like I'll get the perfect dog that I want and that fits with my personality and fits around like our family life, around our work, um, like around college, around my friends. So yeah, that was just like the pros and cons and I decided that I didn't want her. Um, but I'm really glad that we did that because now we have decided that we're going to get a dog and we've been looking online but yeah in the end we decided that we weren't going to get her but it was a really good opportunity and I did really like her but I just don't think she was the right like dog for our family if you have a dog you'll know what I mean but yeah I don't know it was just really exciting and I felt like I should share it all with you that we went and we're finally looking at dogs I'm excited to have like a dog and it's going to make me and my mum feel like we've got our own little family again at home 
um, and also I'm an only child so it's really nice to have some kind of company like my mum works a lot so whenever I'm home it's like nice to have and it would also be nice to get a dog during quarantine because then like we can train it and give it our full attention whilst it's little so I will be showing you next time we go dog hunting and hopefully that will be the final time we go dog hunting and we will find my perfect little pooch and um, I'll have him forever and ever and ever but yeah um, thank you so much for watching until the end please press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already I love you all so 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 much and comment down below what type of dogs you think would be convenient for me and my mum we would like something right Here, here's the things here's the resume um small um it can't be large it needs to be something that can sit on our knees at night um not particularly loud because we have next door neighbours and we need to be respectful. Fluffy because I love fluff but we would prefer that they didn't molt um, so preferably mixed with a beach on freezer or a poodle, poodle but it's fine if not. Um, and cute and family friendly and not aggressive towards other dogs, children or men. Thank you so much for watching, I love you all, goodbye. It was cool